Hi, it's Jane, and I have a round of shout-outs for you for February. Now, I am filming this in January. I will be completely honest. It is not even a full weekend of January, and I already have quite a list of channels for you. So anyway, this is going to be the first round for February, so I hope you will check these channels out. All right, the first channel is the Crafty Crochet Tear. This is a young lady who loves to crochet and to create easy to use patterns and makes crochet accessible for almost everyone. She has a lot of free tips, tricks, and patterns, and her name is Serena. So I hope you'll join Serena. Then there is Create with Amy. Now, Amy does a lot of DIYs, trash to treasure, and furniture makeup makeovers. So she hopes that you will join her about in making things look great and making hand stamped cards. I went down a little bit of a rabbit hole and I do like seeing these DIY. I do like, like the trash to treasure as well. So uh, maybe you might go along on that journey. Then there is Curated by Natalie. There is a reason I watched this channel, and basically it was because on one of her videos, she went thrifting for Christmas gifts, and she got quite a beautiful round of gifts um, for her Christmas list. Um, she does sustainable fashion, thrifting, and styling. See why secondhand doesn't mean second best. best. Um, so she does thrift trips, and she also gives you tips for finding those gems. Now, the video I watched, she did go to a Go Goodwill in Houston, Texas. And I am going to tell you, Texas is serious about their thrift stores. And you can find some amazing deals and beautiful items at many of those thrift stores. Um, but on this one, Goodwill does, um, was... supporting that video itself and she does tell you that straight off because you know we have to as YouTube creators we have to tell you if someone is sponsoring our videos or not all right the next channel is Mark Vogel he does knitting and crochet tutorials um, he does quite quality content with tutorials reviews and blogs the next channel I believe I gave her a shout out but for some reason YouTube had unsubscribed me, so if I gave her a shout out, check her out again anyway. If I didn't, here it is for the first time. Works of Whimsy Crochet with Jackie Chaplin. She helps yarn loving women overcome knowledge barriers when it comes to learning to crochet, operating a crochet business by providing fun, educational, and inspirational crochet related content. On her channel, you're going to find lots of information about selling at crochet craft fairs, Etsy, and you'll also find some cute crochet tutorials. And uh, so she's very happy to have you join her channel. She also likes to hear where you're from, so give her a shout out and tell her where you're from. Then we have Little Brit and Co. Now, Little Brit and Co is a young lady, Sharon, who is married to a wonderful British bloke. And they have three fabulous grown children and little Brit, who's just 11. Yes, he was an amazing surprise. But she does paper craft sewing, bargains, craft fair ideas, craft fair setups and behind the scene views, super fun hauls, laughter and friendship, and loads of British everywhere. Then we have Pamela Haywood. Pamela is a self-taught crocheter and a lefty. Crochet is her passion. She loves to make baby blankets, scarves, and lap gams. She also donates yearly to the local school so kids can stay warm. She donates scarves, beanies, and lap blankets, and the school bands, and the school hands them out to the children whom they believe need them the most. So she asks that you follow her. Her idols are Bagaday, Crochet, and Juan the Yarn Addict. She also loves thrifts and stitches and many more. Many more. 
The crochet community is the best family, and yes, it is indeed. Now, Pamela, also check in your area and see if they have something called Sleep in Heavenly Peace. Um, Sleep in Heavenly Peace is an organization that builds beds for people, for children who do not have beds. And um, you'd be surprised how many children in America do not have a bed to sleep on. They sleep on the floor or on a couch or pillows or whatever. Um, but this organization aims to build beds that they secure donations for lumber, supplies, everything to make the beds. Walmart donates, helps them with mattresses. Um, there are other people that provide the bedding, you know, in different organizations and the um, quilt covers to go on the beds. However, they also love to also give the children a handmade lapgan, throw blanket, whatever that is knitted or crocheted, beautiful colors, you know, scrap gans, whatever. Um, they also like to donate those as long as well as the beds that they do give to. I do know quite a few quilting organizations that make quilts for the beds as well. So it's a good thing to look and see if it's in your neighborhood. And if not, you might want to check it out and see about getting one going. All right. Then we have the embroidered elephant. This is Kim, and she does has a small business in the UK. She sews project bags for crafters and has a lot of love, has and has a very big love for all things sewing and yarning. She also has a passion for crochet that you're going to see throughout many of her videos. Then there is Crafty as a Mother. This is Ashley, and it is about crochet. She does a lot of fun craft tutorials that she uploads every month. She also has a young child, I think Chandler. It's under the age of two, if I remember correctly. He's a cutie. Um, he helps her quite a bit in some of her videos, so check her out. Then we have Imagine Our Life. This is Stephanie, and she is a homeschooling family with two boys, ages 10 and 3. Um, it is a life blog, but Stephanie also crochets, and she takes you on that journey as a homeschooling mother. I think you'll find it interesting as well, and kudos to those parents who do choose to homeschool. Then we have Brazos Fiberworks. This is Jennifer, and I will tell you, I can guarantee that she's in Texas. Why do I know that? Brazos County, yeah. Um, hello and welcome to her channel. On here you're going to see her talk mostly about the fiber arts stuff and a little bit of sewing here and there. Fiber arts is her passion and she loves sharing it with you. The fiber arts she's currently working with are knitting, crocheting, spinning, weaving, dyeing, and maybe sometime soon blending. I do sew a little so you might hear me talk a little bit about that. I'm so glad you stopped by. Hope you enjoy it and I think you will. Then there is Yarn Stash with Marching North. This is Crystal. She is a blogger and YouTuber behind Marching North. She shares craft tutorials, DIY inspiration to help you make the most of your time, creative time. Her channel is, do is dedicated to all things yarn, including crochet tutorials, knitting machine projects, loom knitting, punch needle, pom-poms, yarn stash organization, organization and general yarn addiction and we all have that don't we knit this once is the next channel this is Sarah she is new to knitting she is sharing her developing experiences through her channel here on YouTube now knit this once is not really saying to knit this one time it's more a PA Dutch way of saying try this out and I have heard similar um, phrases to that effect here in Pennsylvania as well. So of course I had to go check it out because I was like, hmm, that sounds familiar. So um, yeah, her first vlog is about her 2024 temperature blanket, but she also imagines that in 2024, it will also hold a sweater in there somewhere. So check her out as she begins. Then there is Viani Creates. These are all things crafty, nails, and baking. Join her for tons of honest reviews, tutorials, hauls from her home to yours, as well as crochet. Then there is Olivia Lynn. 
This is tumblers, crochet, cooking, knitting machine, center, and more. A little bit of everything from her boring life, she says. Olivia, you're on an adventure in life. Nothing is boring. We all enjoy it. Then there is Shayna Lynn. Anything and everything. Let's learn together. Her, She has quite a few. Most of them are loom knitting, but some of my favorites are. Her series called Will It Loom? Videos about using different yarns. And some of those yarns she's shown, I'm like, nope, not going to work. But you have to watch to see if they do or not. <laughs> then we have Fernie's Crafting Corner. This is Fern. She started crocheting. I mean, the last one was, last video was eight months ago. It is crochet. She has quite a few videos. She takes inspiration from, from nature to create projects for the modern life. So she hopes that you will enjoy her videos and subscribe for more content. <coughs> now, as you know, I do a daily Bible reading um, on a different channel. And on one of those videos, um, a young man who has a channel asked me a question about women teachers. You know, women teach what the Bible says about women teaching. I did share my thoughts on that with him on under that video. Um, but I'm going to give his channel a shout out. It is Bible Bound 333. This is Jason. He says, welcome to my ministry. Feel free to openly debate your faith here or ask me to defend mine. Post a comment or question. I'll always take the time to answer you. I'll just ask you to refrain from making it personal and using vulgarity here. There is no such thing as a stupid question if you're seeking the true knowledge of our God and Father. And you should never feel ashamed to ask or speak up. I will treat you as you treat me. Let's keep the peace. Now, in one of his very first videos, he does admit that um, he does not get his teaching on the Bible from anyone other than the Holy Spirit. Um, he interprets the Bible as he reads it using the Holy Spirit, I would hope. And I feel sure possibly he does. Um, however, he does tend to cherry pick some of the um, verses and use them, hold them up as example examples of what should and shouldn't be done in the Christian community. He may be right, he may be wrong. Um, the only thing is, I do find some of it, when you take it out of context, in the way that it was meant as in a letter to the churches, from one of the apostles or whatever, that you may be taking it out of context. And as always, you know, God tells us not to lean on our own understanding. He will provide it for us. However, he did find um, that he was bombarded with the number 333, so he started looking up Bible verses, and that's how he came to his ministry. It's worth a look. It's very interesting, so check out Jason's channel. Then we have Made by Chan. This is a woman who loves to sew and shares it on the Internet. Um, subscribe so that you can see what she creates. She tries to upload every other week. Then there is Bree Ellis. Now, Brie Ellis is what we would call a large content creator. Her content is all about all kinds of things, to be honest. She does have one where she does a crochet, if I remember correctly. She crocheted a temperature blanket and talks about how she had crocheted it. Most of hers are just life blogs, and they do tend to talk about a lot of different things not just one thing per se. Then there is Nancy Crochet. Um, these are just visual tutorials of her crochet things, such as stitch patterns. <clears throat> but she does give you instructions written on the screen in English for what she is showing you. And I don't remember which country she is from. I know it's not the U.S. I want to say it's one of the Asian countries, but don't quote me on that. The next one is The Knitting Man. This is um, Gary, and his aim is to um, help you explore 
explore your creativity in Fair Isle stranded color work and surface pattern design. I did not realize you could do surface pattern design in knitting, so I'm finding it rather interesting. His channel is for tutorials and inspiration. So, as always, check these channels out, and I hope you enjoyed that. And as always, be a little kinder to yourself, be kind to one another, love one another, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.